I got a question on my website explainingmouse.com about this past paper question involving mostly trigonometry. So before we start, all the credit goes to Cambridge Examinations because this is their question and we are just here to help each other. So you too make sure to check my website explainingmouse.com and of course subscribe to my channel so you get these videos the second uh, I have made them. The diagram, it says, shows the cross-section ABCD of a ramp. So this is some sort of skateboard ramp and then the cross-section of it. Calculate angle DBC for the first question, two points, DBC over there. Well, let me put um, the letter theta over there. And uh, to calculate uh, the angle, this is a right angle triangle, so we can use trigonometry and we know the opposite and we know the adjacent. So which ratio do we choose? We choose the tangent. So the tangent of theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. And then to find the angle in your calculator, you do shift 10, uh, the inverse of that ratio. And uh, let me do that as well. So shift 10, 1.8 divided by 2.4 equals, and then you get 36. You write down all those decimals first, then 8, 6, 9, 8, 9, 7, 6, 5. And then you round one decimal place uh, for angle, so 36.9 degrees. Yeah, but show all those angles, uh, all those decimals first, because even if you then make a silly mistake with rounding, many occasions you still get full score if they see all those decimals. So just, you know, make a habit of doing that. Show that, they say, BD is exactly three meters. Well, I always like these questions because they basically give you the answer. We just have to show that that is three meters. And we cannot use that information that it's free in order uh, to prove it. No, we've got to prove it differently. This is a right angle triangle. We know the length of BC. We know the length of CD. So we can use Pythagoras theorem to calculate uh, BD. So you can say A squared plus B squared equals BD squared. And because BD is the hypotenuse, that's important. Yeah, it's important that you realize that's the hypotenuse. So 1.8 squared plus 2.4 squared equals BD squared. Do you see, I do not use that number three uh, because I just have to prove that my answer is going to be 3. Plug this in your calculator, you're going to get 9, so the square root of 9 is 3. So now you have proven that it's exactly 3 meters. Okay, and then they say, and this is for 4 points, and they even tell you how to do it. So it's very kind of them, these examiners are really, really kind people. Use the cosine rule, they tell you, use the cosine rule to calculate angle ABD. ABD, so that's one is over there. So. Um, I'll call it x now, not theta again. Use the cosine rule. Now, um, the cosine rule, if I can write that here, uh, a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of a. And you got to realize that they are teammates. Eh? So please check my videos about cosine rule where I explain this in a lot of detail. But you need to have that formula ready, okay? If somebody wakes you up two o'clock in the night, and he asks you what is the cosine rule, you should be able to give it. Okay, now we can rearrange it because we're interested in the angle, okay? So we can rearrange it um, a squared minus b squared minus c squared divided by minus 2bc is gonna be cosine of a, there you go equals cosine of a. Now I'm going to fill it all in. This is for four points. Uh, again, for four points, a cosine rule doesn't mean it's necessarily difficult. It just means it's going to take some time. What is a? That's important. What is a? It's the teammate of your angle. So a has to be the 8.6. Okay, it's the opposite length of the angle you're interested in. So 8.6. So 8.6 squared minus b squared now, whatever you choose for B and C, it doesn't matter as long as you choose the right length for A over minus 2 times B times C, 6.46. Okay. And I'm grabbing my calculator now and I'm going to put it all in. So 8.6 squared minus 3 squared minus 6.46 squared equals divided by bracket. So make sure you're able to use that calculator properly. Um, 
so you don't make any silly mistakes there. And then you're gonna get, I can squeeze it in just here. You'll have a little bit more space on your exam. The cosine of A equals minus 0 0.599287. Leave that in your calculator because of course you have to do now the inverse and to find that angle. So shift cos answer I'm pressing in and that is 126.8189161. Again, all the decimals and then to one decimal place, 126.8 degrees. Good, that's for four points. Again, doesn't mean it's difficult. It means it's gonna take some work to get to the answer, yeah, as you can see. But um, for sure you're gonna get a similar question, so you might as well prepare yourself so it's not difficult. Okay, there was one more question here, but it didn't fit. It says, um, the, ramp of, um, the ramp is a prism, it says, sorry, of width four meters. So, it is four meters deep, if you like, you see that? So that would be four meters then. Okay, four meters into that direction. Calculate the volume of the prism. And how do you calculate volumes of prism? That is always the cross-sectional area times the width or times the depth or the height, whatever you want to call it, yeah? But I need to find the area of the cross-section. So that's um, the front part. And then I will times that by four to get the volume. Um, I can't remember for how many points this was, but there were quite a few, I believe. So, um, there are several ways of doing it. There's a difficult way and an easy way. The difficult way is, look at the two triangles, yeah? The area of this triangle, half base times height. And the area of this triangle, because it's not a right angle triangle, you could do half AB sine C, yeah? So half 6.46 times 3 times the sine of 126.8. However, Please guys, this is also a trapezium and for some reason a lot of students, they don't like trapeziums, but they're beautiful. What is the area of a trapezium? The sum of the two parallel sides, so 2.4 plus 8.6, yeah, the sum of the two parallel sides divided by two, and then you times that by the height, the perpendicular height between those two parallel sides, which is 1.8. So that is the area of a trapezium, the sum of two parallel sides divided by two times the height. So that's going to give me the area in one go of the entire cross section. And then I times that by four in order to get the volume. And um, grab my calculators, or do I need a calculator? Let me say that's 10, 11, five and a half. Yeah, I'm going to take a calculator. Five and a half times 1.8 times four equals, and um, you're gonna get third. Oh, I need my pen for that. 39.6 centimeter, no meter to the power three. Good, there we go. Um, I hope that was useful. Like and share if it was, guys. And check my website, explainingmaths.com. Everything is for free there for you, so you understand maths a bit better. And subscribe to my channel. I need more, sub or I need, I need, I don't need anything. But I'd like to have some more subscribers so I can help more of you guys. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye bye.